Now we come to the Pacific. The Pacific is a um, just three states, Washington, Oregon, California. Very easy to remember the states. In fact, it's so easy with the states that we have just as many cities to remember as we do states. So first, let's take a look at our vocabulary word volcano, a vent, oops, a vent in the Earth's crust through which molten lava, ash, and gases are ejected. And the reason why we bring this up is because Mount St. Helens, right over here in Washington, when I was a little kid, uh, it exploded. And it was very devastating. A lot of people died. Uh, the area was completely devastated. Uh, a miracle happened afterwards. People said that there just there isn't going to be life anywhere near Mount St. Helens for a very, very long time after it erupted. And if you go back there, it is very lush. It, it did a great job. Nature finds a way if you like Jurassic Park. All right, so um, the mountains, if we remember this, the, the geographic region over here was the coastal range. So we've got all these mountains going right up to the water. You can see right here in San Francisco. San Francisco is right by the Pacific Ocean, and you can see all these mountains are around it. Same thing with Los Angeles. A lot of mountains going right up to the beaches sometimes, and so um, that's how this area is typified. If we also remember our um, key words for the coastal range, we would talk about fertile valleys. So this was a great place to have farms, uh, make a lot of food, but it has also evolved quite a bit. Most people came out here originally to get rich because of all the gold that was in these mountains. And that's why you have places like San Francisco, the gold rush of 1849 after gold was, uh, was discovered the year before. And that's why they have the football team called the 49ers and their helmets are gold. Uh, they have the Golden Gate Bridge. So we look at this big bridge here. So a lot of gold, Golden State Warriors. So. Gold typifies this, uh, this area, especially in California. Uh, it is by a bay, so you can see right here, they call it the city by the bay, and it's also right by the ocean. It's not as big as, let's say, Los Angeles and New York. It's a, a smaller city, but it is known as Silicon Valley because of all the technology. You think of any kind of technology, Google, Facebook, um, Hewlett Packard, Apple, they're, they're going to be based out of San Francisco, so it's a very important city for technology. Seattle's also a very technological city. Uh, it started off with lumber and shipbuilding because of that lumber, and, um, and then metal shipbuilding. But now it's moved more into aircraft manufacturing. Boeing, I believe, is there. Uh, I can't think of the other um, major uh, aircraft companies, but they have set up shop in Seattle. Uh, very rainy, if you remember um, the Kwaki Udal, how in uh, chapter two of last year, uh, how they had a lot of rain in their uh, part of the country. Seattle is in that part of the country, so they're getting a lot of rain, and they're located up here. So we got Seattle way up north, and they get all this rain from the Pacific Ocean, and it's a very rainy city. This totem pole should remind you of the Kwaki Udal because that's in that that region there. Um, so we got San Francisco, we talked about that, and then finally Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the second largest city, and if you've watched a movie or a TV show, it was probably produced out of Hollywood, which is located in Los Angeles. A lot of the studios are there, a lot of the stages. Um, so most of the scenes that you see going on in movies will be shot and produced in Los Angeles. Uh, is a very culturally, culturally diverse city because you have, you, you see the location here, Los Angeles is in Southern California, a lot of influence from Mexico, a lot of influence from places in Pacific like Japan, China, uh, Pacific Islands. So there's, there's a lot of different cultures uh, pouring into. It's kind of like the New York of the West. New York ha is a melting pot of a lot of European, African uh, countries. Caribbean and uh, Los Angeles has all the things from the Pacific area going into that uh, particular city. So technology, um, gold, um, aircraft, ship production, you're, this is what typifies the uh, Pacific states.